Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about popular romance books I have not read yet. However, these books are on my TBR so I actually am interested in reading them. Um, so here are 10 books that are very popular in the romance genre that I have not read yet that I will hopefully be getting to sometime soon. I mean, we'll see. First one that I have is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I know I haven't read this yet. I know, I know. Um, do you know how many of y'all, of my friends, like DM'd me, texted me when this book came out and they were reading it? Like, oh my gosh, you need to read this. Oh my gosh, you need to read this. You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. And I'm like, okay, that's a lot of pressure. I'm just saying a lot of pressure. Um, so <laughs> yeah, this is a fantasy romance that is like taking the world by storm, um, kind of like your new Akatar, like that kind of level of love, I guess. All I know is that the heroine's name is Violet and I think she's trained to become a dragon rider if I'm not mistaken. And um, she has EDS, which is a um, own voices representation. I know that Rebecca Yaros also has EDS. I don't think it's said as EDS in the book, but it has all the symptoms that someone has when they have EDS. I think Rebecca Yaros like even put like on a graphic one time. I remember before this book even came out, like EDS representation, own voices. So I'm actually really excited about that. I love anything with like Dragon Riders. I love Manon for a reason. Okay, love me, Manon. I love Dragon Riders. I love like fantasy books. I love especially disability, chronic illness representation in fantasy books. Like give it to me all day long. So I am really excited for this. I'm just procrastinating reading it for whatever reason. I'm like scared I won't like it as much as everyone else. That's why I'm always scared with these books. I'm like, I don't think, I don't know if I'll like it as much as everyone. So I'm just, I just won't read it because I'm scared too scared so um sometimes i just need to bite the bullet and do it i know i know I'm, I'm really bad in reading like hyped books another hyped fantasy romance book from blood and ash by jennifer l armatrout my friend ashley <laughs> got me this book years ago for christmas <laughs> like i literally have like the very old very old like gift thing oh no she got it for me for my birthday there you go um but yeah, Ashley from Ash Art Books. I love her so much. She was one of my first friends on booktube when I started years ago. So um, I love you, Ashley. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I still haven't read this yet. I feel awful. This is another series that like I'm terrified that I won't like it. Does my brain feel like it's capable of being addicted to another romance series? So yeah, all I know this is about Poppy who can't show her face or something. I think there's vampires in here, something along those lines. So I bet you can tell like, I haven't really read the summaries for these because I like going into books blind. But I've heard great things about this in this series. Um, and there's also like a spinoff kind of like companion series too. I don't know. So um, definitely a popular book that I know I need to get to. I even own the audiobook. Like I bought the audiobook years ago. I have no excuse. Another one that I own, probably one of the oldest unread books on my shelves is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I don't know if I'm ever gonna read this book, honestly, because I know what is in this book. <laughs> and there's some parts of this book I don't wanna read. I don't, like I've watched the TV show and I know what happens to Jamie and it is absolutely heartbreaking. Like I hate what he goes through and I would hate to read about that. Like. Oh, I would eat it. So I might skip that part. I don't know. But like, I do kind of want to say that I read it because like, I do love the show. I haven't caught up. I think I've only watched the first like three seasons, if I'm not mistaken, because I think I was waiting for it just to be finished. But talk about like an amazing floppy paperback. That's this book here. Like floppiest, like most stunning paperback ever because of its flop level. But yeah, this is a time travel romance our heroine i think it's in like the 19 lives in like the 1930s 19 1930s i think um and she's visiting scotland with her husband she's married she stands on these standing stones stepping standing stones um and it brings her back in time and um there she falls in love with a man named jamie so even though she's already married to a man in her own time period but she has to get married for like safety reasons you know what i mean i don't, I don't know how to describe it okay um but yeah this is definitely a very popular book i still have not read yet but i hopefully will one day next is a book that definitely has like a cult following <laughs> so this is um i think it's haunting adeline is it hunting or haunting i think it's haunting adeline i really wanted to read this book and it kind of got lower on my tbr after book bonanza last year with like me witnessing the cult following with that author and that series in general um because some of those fans like were not the nicest people at that event stealing stuff and pushing pregnant women 
not good obviously so i'm like do i really need to be put into like that group of people but like i know i'm not gonna become one of those people i know that that's not me um and it's no fault into the author like if i want to read her book i'll read her book um there is a scene that i've heard of in here with like a gun that i'm not super excited to read about so again another scene i might skip um so yeah all i know is this is like a dark stalker romance and i recently read neva altaj's like newest book and that hero is a stalker and i was like good with it i don't support stalking in real life obviously obviously but in a romance book it's fun sometimes okay it's fun this one is on my tbr if my libby gets the audiobook then i'll do it then i'll read it okay let's just put all of kennedy ryan's books on this list especially like i still haven't read real i know that but the one that i picked for this video specifically is long shot because I do feel like I could love that book but again I think it will rip my heart out because I know this book is about domestic violence and domestic abuse so I know that our heroine um, is in a relationship with this guy on a basketball team but then I think she falls in love with like his rival on a different team and her current boyfriend like is abusive and I don't think she can get out of that relationship but I know that people love this series love Kennedy Ryan and so I know I need to read this I know I need to I'm just scared I'm scared oh another one that people absolutely love is The Deal by L. Kennedy I know I haven't read this yet I know it's like all over everywhere. I literally own the ebook. I own it. I think it was free like a few years ago and I got it for free one day. I know this is, I think like either love lessons and or fake dating in college. Um, the heroine's trying to get the attention of this guy and the hero likes helps her or something. I don't really know, but I know there's also like a spinoff series and then another spinoff series, I think, about this universe of like hockey players. I love hockey romances and I feel like this is a staple one that I haven't read yet and I feel like I need to. Next is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Some of my friends absolutely adore this book. Zay loves this book. I think she's read it multiple times. Brie loves this book. Pretty sure she's read it multiple times. <laughs> So a lot of my friends love this one and I feel like I need to pick it up. Out of all the Abby Jimenez books that I have like looked at, this one definitely intrigues me the most. I think it's a Little Mermaid retelling. I think that's why it's called Part of Your World. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, Abby Jimenez fans, because again, I've also never read one of her books. I think I own two of them. I oh no, one of them. I own The Friend Zone, but I know that it's not everyone's favorite by her. So that's why I'm not going to start out with that one, I don't think. And then I do know, I think like she's older than him in Part of Your World. So I love different dynamics and stuff like that. So, um, cause that just shows like romance is really diverse and how people fall in love with each other. It's not always cookie cutter the same. But again, another book I'm waiting on Libby to come in clutch, you know? Uh, another really popular one is A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. Can you tell like all the raw and emotional ones that are on here? This is another one. Um, like I've heard that this is like the angstiest book of all angsty books. So if I want an angsty book, I gotta pick this up. But I feel like like this is gonna like break my heart, but then like put it back together. Um, so I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I think it's about two people, like they can never like get on the same page of like being together. I think like one's always in a relationship while, or the other one's in a relationship and they can never like be on the same page even though they're in love with each other. I don't really know. All I know is that it's angsty, it's very dramatic and a really good read. I know a lot of my friends like absolutely love this book. Next, I have another Chunky Monkey book. Let me get it. This is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. My Mariana's the Potter. Carrie got this book for me because she loves this. She got this for me um, for my birthday. I've been hesitant to read this. By the way, this is a football romance um, that I think the heroine is like the hero's assistant and he's like a football player. And then he needs to marry her because he's not from America and is like visa expires soon or something. So he needs to like marry her for convenience reasons. I think that's what this one is. I'm happy I got this book or Carrie bought me this book before they changed the cover because I prefer this one to the new cover, just saying. Um, like the new cover is cute, but like I definitely prefer this one. But any hoozles. So um, I've been hesitant to read this one because I read my first Mariana, Z Mariana Zapata, goodness, Mariana Zapata book, I think two years ago. And I wasn't that big of a fan. I read From Luke Off With Love, which is the figure skater one. And I didn't love it. And I was so upset, like so sad. And so I kind of like just have been putting this off, which I shouldn't because a lot of people love this. I know they do. So I do want to get to it. I'm not discounting Mariana Zapata just because I didn't like one book. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and pick this one up sometime soon. And my last book is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I've heard amazing things about this series. This is the first book in the Dreamland Billionaire series, um, which is about, I think, like three brothers who all inherit 
um, something after their grandfather dies, like surrounding Dreamland, which is essentially like Disneyland. Now I love anything Disneyland, Disney World, whatever Disney, even in like fictional made up ones that are based off of that. So um, <laughs> I'm down to read a book based off of that. I have read one book by her. I read the first book in her like Formula One racing series and like that was good I liked it um but I'm hoping that this series like I love because hopefully it gives me like Disney vibes anyways think how much those are some popular romances that I have not read yet that I do want to read let me know down below if you've read any of these books what did you think about them which one should I start first and what popular romances are like you putting off that you still want to read let me know that too if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me a football or any football related emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching I will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all